What is up everybody? Today we're gonna to do another POV street photography video and this one's gonna be very interesting because we are gonna to head to a very special area that allows for some great sunset photos. If you guys don't know, I live in Miami Beach, but this particular area is between Miami Beach and downtown Miami. So we'll have a beautiful view of the downtown skyline with the sun hopefully setting directly behind it or nearby. I'm gonna strap a GoPro to my chest, but first we gotta drive over there and I'll catch you guys when we get there. All right, I've just arrived on location. This is a beautiful spot to catch the sunset. If you guys are from here or you're visiting the Venetian Causeway Park, you can park along the street. You'll have a beautiful view of the downtown Miami skyline, as you guys can see there. So the sun will be setting behind it. So if you're like me and you like to get away from like people without actually having to drive a million miles, this is a good spot. I mean, I'm the only one here in this patch of grass. Uh, everyone else is kind of along the street over there, so. All right, we're gonna kick things off. I'm gonna take pictures of things around me. You know, kind of get the, the feel for things and warm up a bit. This video will not have any rules like my previous street photography video. If you haven't seen it, link will be in the description or I'll put it up here somewhere throughout the video. This video, we're kind of doing uh, whatever we want. I've got the 20 millimeter F1.8. So it gives me a good wide field of view. I also have my 85 millimeter as well. Should I need it? Which I think I will because those buildings are pretty far. So I'll take a wide and a tight shot during sunset. But let's kind of get situated. Clouds look pretty scary right now. So I think we're going to focus on that. With the sun peaking in the background. Let's get it lined up. Perfect. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, there it goes. There's a bike with flowers on a on a sign. Like, I'll show you guys. I don't know if it's someone that passed away or if it's an art installation. I like the way the sun just like reflects off of the, the frame or at least the back tire. I don't know, for some reason I like that. It might just be the lighting. Let me see the front of it though. The wheel is like out of focus. Man, I love this camera. Let's see if I get the scooter going by. try to take panning shots of people going by so I'm gonna switch to manual so I have full control see if I could do it on this golf car right here oh they had a dog oh that is perfect I think we're gonna switch to the 85 now. Especially if we're gonna have some people on jet skis going by, I think those will make for some cool pictures. Kinda of going for a reflection off the water. Very Miami-esque. Going off into the sunset.
Yeah, I like that one. Brought down my aperture so I can get the sunset and everything in the back blurred. And focusing her in the front. So right now we're in the sunset period and we're getting some awesome colors. Thought it would be setting more that way. That's the downtown Miami area. This is still technically the downtown area, but there's not really that many skyscrapers where it's setting exactly. So gotta work with what you got. If anything, we might be able to get some reflections. Pro tip, sometimes, you know, we gotta turn away from what the main attraction is. Everyone looks at the sunset. Everyone takes photos of the sunset. Turn around, look around. You don't know what that light will be doing to things, such as this building right here. There's a lot of glass there. So the reflection actually makes for a pretty cool photo. We get some with this jet ski right here. Oh, cool, we got some dogs. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? 6.41 p.m. Could turn the buildings into silhouettes if you bring up the shutter enough. Eh. That would only work if it was a building with a iconic shape, such as the Eiffel Tower, but no one's gonna know what that building is. It's not a bad backdrop. Just looks cool with the the blurred background especially with the fact that the bridge has lights now kind of look like orbs in the back let's see if we get these two here Thank you so much for tuning in. I had a good time doing street photography POV style so you guys can see through my perspective how I take my photos and how I get my shots. The sun just finished setting behind me. Downtown Miami skyline looks beautiful tonight like always. And I hope you guys learned something if you're into photography or if you're not, I hope you enjoyed the video because sometimes I get curious on how other people take their photos and, and their techniques and all that good stuff. So hopefully you found that interesting. If you wanna see more of these videos, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell button, you'll be notified if I do upload a new video like that or whenever I upload a new video. This is actually my second street photography POV video. My first one was in South Beach. So definitely a lot more people, a lot more crowded and a lot more challenging. So links to that video is in the description. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in.